Hello everyone! Good morning! Good morning! Today we are going to Mount Takao. Mount Takao is a mountain close to Tokyo. Technically it's part of Tokyo. It should be beautiful. We are out here. I want to address something about my body. Cue the sad music. People say, Brian, did you gain weight? The answer is yes, but I gained a kilo. And today, Sonia asked me if I want some Starbucks and I said no, because I'm on a diet. And she got very sad. And if Sonia gets sad, I get sad. So I said, you know what? Let's get a Starbucks then. And now I have this drink and I'll probably gain more weight. Makes it sound like I am not supportive at all. I am supportive, and actually, I'm teaching him a lot of stuff about calories and like healthy food and unhealthy food. What I'm saying is like, if you eat healthy, you can have a cheat meal sometimes, right? Today we will talk about the first time we went out together. The first time I spent time with Brian. The first time I saw his cute little face. Brian? No comment. <laughs> We're going to take the chairlift. Usually I would be freaking out, but I saw the pictures and I don't think that's scary. Have you ever done this? No. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a nice change. Sony's enjoying something not scary at all. So, no, it's a little higher. It is. I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> but so, our first date. First, a little background. Do we want to explain how we met? Yeah. The story everyone's always wanted to know and we've never shared it. Here it is. So, I was subscribed to Brian's channel and once he came to Rome and he said, if anyone's interested in just meeting up and showing me around, I'm down. I hit him up and I told him, I'm free. What's the YouTube channel name? I'd like to subscribe. Briller. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Maybe um. I'll subscribe. <laughs> oh my god, that's a little scary. Babe. Like, I could fall from there. I feel like this thing in Italy would be banned. Fuck, we're going down! I'm trying to get to the top of any mountain. I want to look through these binoculars to see if I can see my home. girl because I got my dango and Brian he's a happy American because he got his Colorado Rockies Dippin' Dots <laughs> like we're in the middle of Japan why do you want Dippin' Dots instead of the dango I've been in Japan for a long ass time he has a point so since I was following him I hit him up and I told him let's meet up I'll show you around babe what did you think Obviously was curious like do I want to meet up with this chick, but I really did just want a tour of Rome I wasn't looking for a relationship or someone like I was just looking for a friend or something It was literally like one of my first weeks in Rome. So we met up. It, I wasn't like damn like this could be the one Honestly me too. Like of course I knew he was funny and that he was good looking. Oh, thank you She's so sweet it was a summer, so I was really mainly interested in spending a nice afternoon, just having fun, going around. I didn't think I would find my boyfriend. We didn't even really plan on making this all. It just kind of came about naturally. Yeah, and it was a fun date. It's the day I didn't fall in love, but I was like, I like her. We did a lot of fun stuff. We'll tell you more later. this is for but I've seen people doing it I think it's for good luck I <laughs> hope so I'm about to do it just follow the procedure you start here you enter the circle put my here that's it I hope it works Brian what's that big red button I don't know but it's so tempting to touch Something very beautiful. Right here. Aww. I saw 
saw something we're familiar with which is the fountain where you can wash your money for good luck and they say that if you spend the money in like how many days 10 15 you will receive more money we need it paper this is the fountain you put the money in that little basket wow you're washing a lot and you wash Brian really wants to get rich done clean money okay let's go I thought there would be one temple but there are like a million temples and there's another one over there So we're at the top of the mountain and this is the perfect time for a break and I want to tell you what we did during our first date First of all, we didn't kiss No first kiss on our first date Sorry But you have uh, to clarify, it wasn't really a date Yeah, that's true, it wasn't really a date He has a point we were looking for, I don't know, a fun evening slash afternoon. I showed him around, we talked about a lot of stuff. Oh my god, a lot of bugs. We had dinner together and after that I just gave him my phone number. Before that we were only talking via Instagram. Instagram. The rest is history. And when was the second time I saw you, baby? A couple weeks later. So what I thought about Brian when I saw him in person for the first time. <laughs> Babe, don't listen. I'm not. I thought he was very smart. I knew he was funny. I knew he was good looking. But I thought he was smart. So we started talking about linguistics because he has a degree in linguistics and I have a degree in languages and a master's in translation. So obviously I'm very into languages in general. So we started talking about advanced linguistics and I just think we had a lot of things in common. You're turning into a nature girl. Brian keeps saying that I'm turning into a nature girl. Just like, look. Oh my god, I see that squirrel. Wait. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> I saw a squirrel. I saw a jumping squirrel. It didn't jump. I am honestly, I'm not sure if it was a jumping squirrel or just a normal squirrel, but I saw this picture here. So I will say that it was a jumping squirrel. I don't know how to call these squirrels. Flying squirrels? Brian, you're full of life. <laughs> what are you thinking? What's in your little squirrel mind? I'm not been too specific. Are you thinking about our first date? No. Are you thinking about our first kiss? No. Are you thinking about dinner? No. Are you thinking about LeBron? I have been today. Like the first thing he told me today was that LeBron was on the Lakers. I can't believe LeBron's on the leg, it's not tight. Babe, when did you realize that you wanted to be in a relationship with me? There was no like epiphany moment. After spending time with her and getting to know her more, I was like, I'm not trying to end it. For me? Actually, I do know, now that when? I think about it. When she started cooking for me, I was like, she cooks? We're going on that bridge. Even though Brian likes to think that I'm a nature girl, I'm honestly not. I believe that if I saw a big spider or a snake, I would just freak out and I would fall from here. Or a big wasp. Here in Japan they have like those big wasps, like they call them Japanese wasps. They're lethal, they're huge, dangerous, and they're everywhere in Japan. Mm -hmm. Even in the city, like I would just dive probably. <laughs> Bye! If you fell here, it'd be so hard to stop yourself because it's so steep and the fall's pretty high. And I'm pretty sure you'd be lucky to survive and you definitely would have like broken bones. That's really helpful. It definitely helps me overcome my fear. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Updates, guys. We're all sweaty, wet and tired and we're lost in the jungle it's so hot and humid i started my vlog looking good with my makeup everything was on point here i am now i'm still looking good i agree babe what are you doing looking at this brian loves trees but this i have to admit is really beautiful we're lost and it's getting dark and there is no one here, we're still in the middle of nothing. I am not a nature girl, I'm starting to freak out. That's the truth. 
my tolerance for nature has come to an end for today i feel mosquitoes all over me i'm so sweaty i just want to go home and take a shower we're resting for a minute do you see the mosquitoes do you see the mosquitoes <laughs> this has been pretty cool who am i with tell me something encouraging sonia's actually done a great job today she hasn't complained she's been excited she's been liking it only the past 10 minutes which understandably have been a little bit scarier because it has been scarier and it seemed like there was no exit but now she sees this right ahead of us and it looks good and she's calmed down and she's ready to go so she's been a trooper and i'm proud of her do they have wolves in japan oh yeah they got all kinds of killers out here including spiders We're almost safe, but do you want to go for the next adventure? Here we go again. Psych! Nah, I guess I'm good for today. Okay, we made it out of the woods, but we don't know where we are. We don't have a car. This is what I see. We need to find the bus station somewhere. Go to Mount Takao, it will be a stroll. Like, no, maybe we took the wrong path. There is a vending machine, so it means we're safe. Arigato! It's over there. Okay. We made it to the station. But it's not the same station we came to. I mean, it's not the same station we came to at the start. Are you grumpy? A little bit. Why? Food. Let's go find food. He's having a snack. He's less hungry, I guess. Are you still grumpy? We were planning on going back to the station we came to. We're just too tired. We found this train that goes closer to where we live. And we're like, <laughs> let's just go. It's true. I already told you I'm getting away, but I still feel like eating unhealthy food. Like, I want a cheeseburger. Something y'all should know about Sony is when it comes to finding a restaurant, she's the most difficult person. This is us going around. How about this? Me. Works for me. Sonia. No. Next place, same. Next place, same. Next place, same. Every time I'm like, this is cool. Because I like nah. food. I know what I want. I want healthy, good food. I want unhealthy, good food. Hey guys. As you can tell, we're back in Tokyo. What time is it? It's 7 p.m.? 7.20. Now we're just gonna get dinner and we'll go to sleep. No, maybe we'll watch something. We've been watching a, like a TV show on Netflix, The Staircase. So we're gonna eat something, we're call it a day. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. I hope you will subscribe. Hey guys, we love you, peace out. Peace out.